Malacanang welcomes the court's decision to convict most of the Ampatuan brothers. Spokesman Salvador Panela says the court has spoken and rendered its decision on the basis of the evidence presented by both the prosecution and the defense. He adds that those who disagree with the judgment of the court have legal remedies at their disposal. Ultimately, it will be the Supreme Court that will give the final judgment. But for now, what is important is that the rule of law has prevailed. Meanwhile, the Justice Department's prosecution panel is satisfied with the verdict, but they acknowledge that its work is not yet done. Given a little more time to go over the decision itself and see the rationality of the court and how it uh, came up with its finding acquitting certain accused, then we will be able to say, okay, probably we can take action. Because like I said, if there's anybody who knows the evidence in the case, it would be the panel members and they would know if they had presented more than enough. Justice Secretary Minada Guevara is also happy with the court's decision on the case, noting that the acquittal of some accused was expected. We know from the beginning where our strength lies and uh, where certain gaps in our evidence uh, exist. Uh, so this is something that we more or less expected. Several organizations welcomed Judge Jocelyn solis Reyes' ver verdict on the decade-long Ampatuan case. In a statement, the group Human Rights Watch or calls the decision a momentous verdict which should help provide justice to the families of the victims. They also tout it as a step forward or step toward greater accountability for rights abuses with the hope that it will spur political and judicial reforms to end impunity. The search for justice is far from over, though, says Amnesty International, as long as 80 other suspects remain at large. The group urges the government to take steps to find and prosecute all those suspected to have taken part in the massacre. In any case, the conviction of the principal accused, says the group, is a critical step towards justice. The National, Union, the National Union of Journalists of the Philippines welcomes the verdict, but it laments that 55 of the accused, including key Ampatuan clan members, were acquitted. NUJP says justice is not yet complete until all those responsible are made accountable. We also lament that justice has not yet been fully served for Reynaldo Bebot Momay Jr., whose remains have not yet been found.